Golf Carting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey there, and welcome back to Golf Carting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts, and we're happy to have you back here today. We have today a dealer spotlight, and this is a brand new dealer out of Charlotte, North Carolina called Charlotte Golf Carts. Brilliant name if you're in Charlotte and you're selling golf carts. Uh, so Fred there is, uh, has got some uh, a great background story and kind of how he got into the business. And uh, what I really love about what's going on there is just the fact that he uh, and his team are focused more on the experience and opening your eyes to just kind of, you know, how and what might be needed for your particular needs instead of uh, kind of hard pressure sales mentality. So uh, let's jump in with Fred from Charlotte Golf Carts and uh, see what he has to say. Fred's going to tell us a little bit about what he's doing here. It's a it's a unique setup. He's got a really nice showroom here and right on one of the main drags in Charlotte. So Fred, why don't you start maybe just a little bit with the, uh, a little bit of history. How in the world sure. did you get into the, the golf cart world? Well, I've actually been in transportation most of my adult life. That's really all I've ever done, automotive, trucking. And uh, the, my last uh, employment uh, position was with Taylor and Martin Auctioneers, and we were a large wholesale auction house for uh, tractor-trailer equipment. And we would set up auctions uh, basically all over the country once a week. and. Uh, those yards are usually anywhere from 10 to 20 acres, and we would rent a handful of golf carts um, for the guys to use to set up the facilities. And during COVID, um, a lot of the dealers would have sold off their inventory because they couldn't get in new golf carts. And we struggled after post-COVID uh, finding golf carts. So uh, I like to think of myself as a problem solver. So I went out and bought some used golf carts and uh, started a little company with my neighbor and um, he said, why don't we throw up a website and not just rent to Taylor and Martin? And uh, it kind of exploded on us um, to the point where he, uh, he said, I can't do this. I can't keep doing this and run my business. And I said, well, I'm going to continue on. So I actually bought him back out and uh, continued on with the rentals. And that's kind of what led me to want to become a golf cart dealer. That's awesome. And then, so you've chosen a few brands. Uh, the, the shop that we're in right now, you're actually in construction. So yep. uh, we'll roll in some footage once that gets done here in the next month or so. Um, but you've chosen a few brands to get started with. Tell me sure. a little bit about that and, and why maybe you chose some of those brands. Well, when, when I started with the golf cart rental business, I would literally just go out and buy anything and everything I could find on the used market. Uh, Club Car, Easy Go, Yamaha, um, whatever. And I just uh, buying, not no, no knock on those brands, it's just that what I was finding is the older equipment would cause issues. So I'd have them out on long-term rent and the people would call and I've got this problem, that problem. So I started looking at some new models uh, to purchase. And some of the brands out there were very attractive because of their pricing. So I tried a few of those and found out that actually these newer carts, what I'm going to refer to as import carts, are uh, just like watching the automotive industry all over again. Kind of think of it as Honda and Toyota coming to America, um, selling against GM, Ford, Chrysler. They have sleeker looks, lighter, more efficient, uh, good pricing, and they've taken this market by storm. So I started purchasing some of that equipment for my rental fleet, and it's worked out great. And that gave me, quite frankly, an advantage because I have tried a lot of different brands in my rental company. And that's what kind of led me to the four that I have chosen to represent to sell, which is Icon, Vivid, Star, and now Atlas. Um, and I just feel like as a dealer, it's my job to go out and do that research so that I feel good about what I am offering to a consumer. So you mentioned those those four brands. What maybe why those in particular versus you know I, I know the the market's kind of been flushed with a lot of sure. these brands lately. So why did you choose those four? Well, um, there's a few reasons. And to to uh, carry on with what you just said, uh, interesting enough, you can take the 
industry magazines and the and, and the rags as we call them and you will see a new manufacturer just about every month that a magazine comes out um, so you do have to do a lot of research and what I have found or what I kind of looked at from an interesting standpoint is Icon is literally their manufacturing facilities 15 minutes from here in Charlotte in Huntersville North Carolina um, so I felt like from a inventory standpoint, from a service support standpoint, from parts availability, if I don't have it, it's 15 minutes away from me. Um, and so I just felt like that was a good relationship for me to have. And that led me to look at other manufacturing facilities that are right here in our back door. Um, Star is in Greenville, South Carolina. So that's two of the lines that are literally ones right here, one's an hour and a half away. Vivid is in Fort Myers, Florida, but Vivid makes a really good product. And the one thing that intrigued me about the Vivid line is I knew they were gonna be introducing a cart that they actually truly built from the ground up in Florida as a USA made cart. Uh, they actually just introduced it at the uh, PGA show in Orlando. And while I was attending the PGA show, I also was very impressed with the Atlas line, which is also another USA made uh, from the ground up, cart made here in South Carolina. Um, so I, I'm kind of, you know, a big proponent of support local, buy local. Uh, and it, it just kind of makes sense because I feel like that I would rather have a brand that I can grab local parts and service support from for my customers as opposed to saying well the factory's in California I've got to have the parts overnight it or they're out of stock it'll be a while and your cart's gonna sit in our shop for two weeks I'm trying to avoid that so that was part of the reason I chose these brands totally makes sense so with we talk about the competitive relative to the uh, industry and the types of carts that are out there what about just generally com competition locally with other dealers like what do you feel like is is something that's gonna what do you why do you think you could come into the market and, and do something do something here very good question um my wife asked me that over and over and so what i am uh what i'm trying to do is create something that's a little unique in the respect that i've traveled with when i was with taylor and martin i covered north and south carolina so as the golf cart thing evolved and I found a lot of interest in the golf cart world, I would stop at a lot of the different golf cart dealerships. And what I found is a lot of the dealerships are kind of off the beaten path. And I, and I get that because the real estate's less expensive uh, in, in some outlying areas. I wanted to do something a little different. I am literally across the street from the largest Chevrolet dealership in, in Charlotte. You can drive down this road. It's called Auto Roads Independence Boulevard. There's some synergy between golf carts and automotive now because you can actually buy a golf cart like I'm sitting in that's LSV, low speed vehicle that you can actually go to the DMV and get a license plate for and drive it on the street. In North Carolina, it's a, any public road that the speed limit's 35 miles an hour or less. So with this being truly a alternative means of transportation, I thought, well, let's just be out here with the car dealers. Um, so I wanted to offer a bigger showroom, four brands as opposed to being one brand so that customers can come in and have a lot of options. I'm not gonna sell to everybody, I get that, but I wanna at least be the person that when people think of buying a golf cart in Charlotte, they say, well, let's go check out Charlotte golf carts. We hope to be very educational to explain to them why we chose these four lines. If we're fortunate enough to earn their business, great. If not, I hope they leave here with a good experience. Our tagline is come have fun with us. If you think about it, nobody is going to walk in any showroom in America to buy a golf cart that's not for fun. They're not driving it to a funeral. They're taking it to the barbecue, the marina, the lake, the beach. It's all about fun. That's what I want our customers to experience when they come to Charlotte Golf Carts, is they can at least say, man, that place is cool and it's fun, and maybe we'll buy from them, maybe we won't, but we do trust them and we do feel like they gave us a good education on the golf carts. 
with all of the, the options that are out there, obviously you can drive off a brand new cart and be happy with what you've got and everything's cool to start with, but there's also a lot of you know, customization and aftermarket sure. accessories and things like that. So do you have plans to kind of get into that side or are you just solely based on? No, a absolutely. Um, what I have learned is going back to what we were talking about before and kind of mimicking the automotive industry. A lot of the carts today, as you can see, come factory, ready to go, very cool, good wheels, good steering wheels, good seats. But there are a lot of people that still want a little bit more. They want to have the coolest, the baddest uh, golf cart in their neighborhood. We can lift these carts, we can add LED lights, we can uh, do different suspensions, we can add different tires and wheels. There's a lot of customization that we can do. What I've learned is the whole customization thing came about when people were taking an old golf course golf cart and trying to make it cool. A lot of the manufacturers today have basically said, well, this golf cart was not designed for a golf course, so we can build it at the factory level already pretty cool. But again, as you saw at the show and uh, various places that I'm sure you get around to, there's a lot that we can do to even trick it out even more. Special paint, we want to do a Carolina Panthers uh, golf cart, so we'll be doing a lot of that. Actually, my service manager that I just recently hired is a previous racing fabricator, so we're going to really get into some cool stuff. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah, that's a good thing. I think there's so many, so many options and so much potential, uh, even like you said, even with the newer carts, uh, to be able to do that. But you've got somebody that's good at that, that makes a, yeah, exactly. that makes a huge I feel very fortunate with that, for sure. Difference. Well, tell us how, how we can find you uh, yep. relative to online, social media, things like sure. that. Sure. Again, it's Charlotte Golf Carts. We also have Charlotte Golf Cart Rentals. Everything can be found at our website, Charlotte Golf Carts. We're on most of the social media pages, Facebook, Instagram. We'll even try a little TikTok. Um, but we're going to be trying to post and do some things. And part of our social media, we hope to in the future, to be educational, not only just trying to earn business, but we hope to, uh, for example, some of our posts, we may show you how to change tires on golf carts, how to be safe, how to keep your kids safe, um, and do things that engage our audience before and after they purchase from us, if we're lucky enough to earn their business. But you can find us out there. Again, it's just Charlotte Golf Carts. We tried to keep it very simple and easy to find. So maybe you were as mesmerized by Fred's voice as I was, but uh, I did find out, told side note, that uh, he was an actor for a while and uh, actually had a part in 24, the Kiefer Sutherland or whatever his name was, uh, show there for a while. But Anyway, I think one of the big things that, that really stood out uh, for me with Charlotte Golf Carts and Fred's mentality in general is this idea, which I have taught and, and spoke and li lived by for years now, is this idea of helping versus selling. Like the whole idea is, hey, if I can educate you, if I can help you understand something better, answer your questions, whether you buy from me or not, uh, I want to be somebody that's there to, to be able to help you make the right decision. So. I love that mentality. So if you're in Charlotte area uh, or somewhere nearby in, in the vicinity at all, uh, definitely check those guys out. They carry some great brands and I think you'll have a great experience. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, share this video with anybody, particularly those you know who might live in Charlotte. And join us next week. Every week, Wednesday at noon, we have a new episode that drops, Golf Karting TV. We'll see you next week.